Hi there, my name is Shakina. I am currently a 400 level transition into 500 level medical laboratory science student here in Nigeria. And from the title of this video, you already have an idea of what we're here to talk about. I'm here to give you the complete guide to study medical laboratory science in Nigeria. Medical laboratory science is a field, a very crucial field in healthcare. And oftentimes there's not a lot of spoken or like so much awareness surrounding it, but it's a very crucial and delicate and very important field in healthcare. This guide provides a comprehensive overview of what it entails to study medical laboratory science in Nigeria, coming from the definition of medical laboratory science to the admission requirements to the duration of study, the curriculum and coursework, basically um, um, professional certification. Um, career prospects and furthering further education this guide promises to be very detailed and tell you everything you need to know about studying medical laboratory science in nigeria now let's medical laboratory science is defined as the science that deals with obtaining analyzing and interpretation interpretation of data and information from biological specimens for treatment diagnosis prevention and to promote general health um, awareness it also deals with the fabrication of equipment but that's not our main focus for today just like every other course in nigeria mls also has its own admission requirements to study medical laboratory science in nigeria aspiring students must possess ssc or its equivalent with credits in five important courses like physics biology, chemistry, mathematics, and English language. Aspiring students must also possess the university's UTME cutoff for the course, and aspiring students must also pass the university's post-UME exams for the course. Duration of study. The duration of MLS program in Nigeria is usually five years, which includes a preclinical stage and a clinical stage. It is comprised of academic coursework and laboratory posting and there is also a compulsory one year internship after you graduate from the university so what in essence i'm trying to say is you would spend five years in the university then after your five years you would be required to do a one year compulsory internship where you work as a medical laboratory science intern for one year before you go for your nyc program curriculum and coursework this program is divided into two stages, which is the preclinical stage and the clinical stage. The preclinical stage is your 100 level and 200 level stage. At this point, you're usually in what we call the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, where you do basic medical courses. In your 100 level, you will do a recap of what you have been taught in your secondary school, which is physics, chemistry, biology, most importantly. And then in your 200 level, you will do basic medical courses like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. And in some schools, depending on the type of school, you do introductory MLS courses. Depending on your school, it could range between one to three introductory medical laboratory science courses. After your 200 level, you will proceed to your 300 level, which is known as your clinical stage. Also, the period where you start your laboratory posting, also known as clinicals. In your 300 level, courses or subjects like medical microbiology, hematology, histopathology, clinical chemistry, serology, immunology, genetics, molecular biology will be broken down into, course, into courses yes, across your 300 level to your 500 level. Professional certification. After the completion of your 400 level, you will be required to write your first professional exams. These exams usually entail three parts, which is the MCQ, the practical, and the viva. It comprises of everything you've learned from your 200 level to your 400 level. You are required to pass that exam in order to be promoted to your 500 level. In 500 level, you will be required to write your second professional exam, which is a little less tedious than your first professional exam because it will only contain questions from your chosen specialty. 
confused about what specialty is i will explain in my next video after the completion of your five years after you've gotten your bmls which is the bachelor of medical laboratory science that graduates are required to register and obtain license from the mlscn which is the medical laboratory science council of nigeria to practice as scientists in nigeria area prospect studying medical laboratory science opens various career opportunities such as working in public or private hospitals clinic or diagnostic centers research positions in medical and academical institutions quality control and assurance in pharmaceutical companies health management and administration roles and you could also work in teaching positions at universities or colleges as a lecturer be it as it may be further education medical laboratory scientists can further their education in masters and phd in specialized areas like clinical microbiology hematology histopathology immunology molecular diagnostics etc i hope this was helpful in determining or considering what medical what it, it entails to study medical laboratory science in nigeria please subscribe for more videos and content related to medical laboratory science in nigeria thank you